Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sam. We are here today to enjoy another cup of coffee. Thank you for liking and sharing the page. Please do subscribe. So today it is rather interesting. We've got somebody on at the studio who is going to tell us about their life and basically what they do on a daily basis. He is uh, from Strand area. His name is Yandisa. Um, he owns a few brands. He's very involved in uh, youth develop development agencies here around. Um, so to tell us more, um, he is here with me. His name is Yandisa. Hala. Hi. <laughs> how are you? I'm doing well and how are you? I'm good. So welcome to the channel Coffee. I'm Thank sure you've you. heard about Thanks coffee, for right? Me. Yes, I did. Yes. All right. So today I'm rather very excited to hear about um, the things that you do. I, mean, I know you, you've got a, a lot of things that you do um, by yourself. Um, you've got a brand. You've got a clothing brand. You've got, uh, I know you're involved in some drama as well, um, or theater rather. So there's a lot of things that you do um, at your space. I know that you're self-employed currently as well, yeah? Cool. So tell us, where does Yandisa come from? I'll first by introducing myself. Yes. <laughs> um, my name is Yandisa Kagi Makagana. Uh, most of people they don't know where his name Kagi coming from. Mm. Uh, it is derived from a surname okay. <laughs> Makagana. Some people call me oh, Kagi, Kagi, Kagi. Kagi that some call me Kags. So yeah, I was born in in the Eastern Cape, Willow Vale. I grew up there and then I came to Cape Town because my parents were here working, uh, doing business and doing other stuff. So I came and I studied here, my high school, then I went to Eastern Cape again to, to study at um, King Inza. I did engineering and related design. And then I went, I came back to, to the Western Cape and then I, I to enroll my studies. So <clears throat> from then, yeah, that's me. Then the rest is history. Yeah, I can All say. Right. Okay, so you've mentioned that you've moved from the Eastern Cape. Um, to Cape Town and you went back to, to further your studies and you mentioned something about engineering that you studied. Tell us about the journey of the engineering. Did you finish it? What kind of engineering did you do? Um, what were your interests in, 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 in doing engineering? Um, when I was growing up, I wanted to do anything that has to do with hands. Okay. So my late grandfather um, motivated me that, no, man, you must do um, some mechanic because okay. It is um it is a life skill like it, it is something that nobody can take away from you. It is something that you have to to learn from college and then you can be able to employ yourself about it. So I say no interesting. Then I went to to do this. So I specialized in diesel diesel mechanic, and then I got an opportunity from the city of Cape Town to 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 be part of their um community upliftment, which is apprenticeship uh, for diesel mechanic for three years. So I was working them um to, to with them, and then they trained me. Uh, a group of young people they train they, they train us. So from then I I I become to 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 love the journey of of, of engineering because it's something that um opens your your, your mind yeah. um how you see things and it it challenges you that you work hard and you you know you know more. I don't know if I did. Yes, you did. Yeah, yeah. It's quite interesting that you actually done um, engineering. Um, however, I just want to know the shift from engineer to clothing. How did that? How did that come about? It, it, it was not uh, a big deal, as I've said okay. that um, my my parents were like they they are business people. They do a lot of selling. They sell a lot of things. So I, I grew up in that environment of business. So I've um, years years back. I I just have something in my mind that I need to start something. I don't want to have a uh, um, one source of income, but I need to do something that will generate more money. Even if my contract ends by the city of Cape Town, then there will be something that will give me money, something that I will love, and something that people love. So far, I noticed that people love clothing. Yeah. There is no one who goes out uh, not, not wearing. Everyone is wearing something yeah, exactly. to cover his or her body. Yes. So I said to myself, no, man, I think let me go for, for clothing because I want to, 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 to challenge people because my brand, it, it, it is not just a brand, but something that challenges, something, something that speaks to people. Yeah. So, yeah. So, okay. so that's how the journey came. So um, it is rather, it is, it is very interesting that you've mentioned um, one source of income because um, for all my life, I've always thought, you know, just one income is, is never enough. Um, there is nothing more amazing um, than making your own money. 
you know. So um, I read a story about your brand, which is called Look at God. It's called Lag in short, right? So I read a story about it, um, where, you know, where you, 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 you were telling people on how it, how you got to name it Lag. Um, where, where you know where the concept came from yeah. to 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 call it what um, or what you've called it. Tell about tell us about the journey um, for lag specifically. How did it start? Um, how did you get to 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 understand how out? How did you compile the word "Look at God" and put it on your t-shirts? Um, um, "Look at God" is a first of all my brand is a is a, is a godly um a based brand. Uh, it's a brand that is there to to speak to people and to to challenge people and to motivate people. Um, to come about the name Look at God, I was so um, motivated or inspired by uh, a lot of things. Um, there, there are guys um, called a, a group that calls um, Legacy, I think Legacy Movement, whereby they have this song that says, um, "Look at God and and see it all. Look at look at God." And then that uh, that that I was in a, a process where I was looking for a name or because I had this idea of clothing yeah. and then the guys were singing the song saying man there's something about this this word look at God and then um, I, I I prayed about it yeah I prayed about it and, I, and a lot of scriptures <laughs> because I'm a believer that motivated yeah. me um, I will just recite one scripture and the Bible will say I look up my eyes uh, my eyes where comes my help my help comes from the Lord so it was something about looking and I, I believe that if as people who can look at God uh, a lot can happen because they say look at God and be inspired. Yeah. So if we can focus on God and fix our eyes on God, even if um, uh, especially young people, there are a lot of challenges that we are facing in life. There are a lot of um, attacks on go in these yes. days. We are going through <laughs> yeah. a lot. Um, depressions, um, unemployment, um, peer pressure, not fitting, all that. But if we can look at God. God is able because all things they are from God. Yeah. God is able to take us through whatever that we are going through. Yeah. So okay. So the the the, the brand on its own, it's very spiritual and it's very sounds like it's very personal to you. All right. So tell us about um. So you've got look at God, which is um you're doing t-shirts and you what a else do you things. do? A lot we of things. We do a lot yeah. of things, a lot of clothing, and we, we wanna still do a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, we do um your your t-shirts, we do your hoodies, we do your dresses you do your head um apparels we do your you do a lot of things yeah which is one of the t-shirts that you're actually wearing today yes yeah? this one it's, like, it's very it's very nice i yeah, love the color the label leg. yeah yes i i really really love the color it's one of my favorite colors okay um maybe you'll give me that t-shirt at the end of the you must right? order yes. <laughs> <laughs> tell me um, so from besides Look at God, which is your personal brand, um, you're involved a lot in um, youth um, services within the community. Um, tell us about the programs that you're involved in. I'm a very um, energetic person. I see. Uh, a person who's so um, passionate about young people yeah. or anything that is to, is up for um, to develop young people. Um, I'm involved in... In 2008, we we formed we formed an organization for performing arts, which which called um, We Are Kenya Production. Um, one of the core um, founders of the organization, which is I think it's 12 years or 13 years now, mm -hmm. we're doing performing arts. Um, it's just to involve young people into good doings and to to taught them uh, about performing arts. And then I'm involved in the organization called Youthquake. I'm the uh, chairperson of the organization, Western Cape Youthquake, Western Cape. Um, it's all about young people with a vision that says we mobilize, we unite, we equip the youth for a brighter future. Yeah. And also I'm involved with the um, organization that is under museum, which is called Youth Connect. It's a platform whereby we we bridge the generation gap, if I can put it that that, that, that way, whereby we connect um, to to young people, we, we yeah. discuss um, matters, we, we debate, we, it's about the talking, we, we do a lot of talking right, so and motivation. Of, yeah, so yeah. there's a lot of involvement within the community, yes. with the youth specifically. Okay. I want to talk about the challenges that you would have, okay? Um, in our society, black society in particular, there's a lot of uh, stigma, if I could call it, um, where a lot of young people are want or want 
to be involved in things where it'll include alcohol, um, it'll include parties. Um, it's rather boring for them to go to an organization or a place where we're just going to talk about God and motivating each other and all of that. So what are the challenges, um, seeing that you're involved in a lot of youth development within the community, um, trying to get them away from you know drugs and what so forth, um, what are the challenges that you would say you have faced um, within your journey and in all the, um, uh, the programs that you're involved in? There are a lot of challenges. Um, first challenges are the challenges within myself. Uh, I, will, I, will, I, will only, I will challenge myself with uh, self-doubt uh, or with um, low self-esteem, um, not having confidence if is, is this thing that I'm going to start or be part of, is it going to be welcome to people, how are they going to react. So I will first have that fight within, within myself and also the environment or the society that we are, we are living in is not a, a godly or a pleasure yeah. uh, society. Yes. A society whereby you need to, to stand up for what you want. It's a society of um, being, um, you, you get um, strength or you get, I don't know, uh, joy or you, wa you want approval from people. Yeah. Uh, if they don't approve you and then you just, you, you just, you just want to give up. So it's a matter of you being challenged by, 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 by those things, by those things like your your society, the environment that we are within. Yeah, all right. And um, so, what is the one thing that you always tell yourself when you wake up in the morning to say, okay, I'm I'm, I'm gonna do one more move again. I'm gonna try again today. And um, what is the one thing that actually motivates you to do the things? Seeing all of these challenges that we've, that we've just mentioned, that sometimes you can doubt yourself that is it really what people want? What is your motivation that keeps you going? What is that momentum that you have that always keeps you going with all of these challenging challenges um, aside? One thing that I do, in whatever that I put into my circle is something that I want to do. Yeah. And then I will do it in my terms and it's something that I, will, uh, I love to do. So passion cover, covers everything yeah. because I do everything that I do out of love and out of passion. So if I, I won't have passion or love, it, it will be so boring for, for me or it will be so exhausting. So it is one thing that gives me a drive, yes. is passion and love passion to whatever that I do. Yes. All right. okay. And the rest comes along. The, the yeah. rest is history. <laughs> All right. I just want to shift a bit. I want to move back into your... Um, into lag. Um, in particular, I want us to, to talk about the financial. I want us to have the financial conversation with. That's a big problem. Lag. I know <laughs> <laughs> the financial conversation. Look, there's a lot of young people. Um, so the show Coffee, we are basically, you know, trying to motivate people to to do what they love with their hands. That's all right? nice. So there's a lot of people out there that that's, uh, that say, I've got an idea, but I don't have funding for it. I've got I've got something to do which would be amazing, but I don't have the capital to, to, to start that. When you started lag, did you have some sort of capital that was laying around? Um what is the financial you know starter that you had when you when you were starting off your lag? Financial crisis is a is a, is a, is a challenge to everyone, even to, to myself, even to, to lag. It was a big challenge. And there is no you, you won't find any money laying there or they won't, you won't find any uh, any streams of money or someone will say, here is the money. But you need to make money in a way. Yeah. You need to, when I started leg, I I saved money to the month from the money that I was getting from my family and to the money that I was earning at work. Yeah. I had to put money aside to, 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 to start what I love to do or to, to start leg or to start what I want to do. Yeah. Okay. And, and and so because I would understand if you're starting a a, a brand, clothing brand in particular, um, there will be print that is uh, involved. There is a manufacture of the actual actual t-shirts that is involved. Um. So did you have? What I'm trying to ask is that did you have the st a starter besides the money that you put aside? Maybe it'll be like a hundred grand or two hundred grand. Did you have a starter? Um, a financial starter to say, okay, this twenty thousand is gonna is gonna go for manufacture of the of the t-shirts. Um. This one is gonna go to printing this one is going to go to fitting whatsoever did you have some sort of um, capital that was that is like that um, that was aside or did you go to knock on doors to say guys I've got an idea um, 
you know, please give me money? Did you have anything of that sort? I didn't knock to any door. Yeah. But the money that I put aside, the money that I, because I I saved, I saved the money. Okay. The money that I saved, it was uh, the money that I used for manufacturing, a money for use for printing, a money for, that I used for. For, for the launch we, yeah. because we had a launch for when we were introducing the brand okay. so all that money it was not a lot of money because we started small we started with small item with few people that came so it was not a lot but it, it was the money that is enough to to do something all right because we and never get a lot of money a lot of money yeah so the platform that lag is right now where is lag from where you started it's it, it, it has grown it has grown because when we started, we started with nothing. Yeah. But now we we having um, we having loyal customers. Yeah. We having T-shirt. We having all of the uh, all of the things. We have um, your 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 your, your banners. We have mm. um, <laughs> fan fan base in Facebook and social media. Right. So it is. So the response was quite positive, and you're seeing very positive from yes. where we started. All right. Cool stuff. Um, so all of these things that we've just done, including the, you know, the, the programs that you're involved with um, within the community, what would you tell your younger self? So your five-year-old self, what would you tell, what would you say to that person right now, looking at where you are right now with your brand? All I can say, I'm, 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 I'm someone who's very, very um, sensitive about time because I believe each and everything has its own time. Yeah. So you, you, as young people, we need, we need not to spare time. We need to use every time efficiently, yeah. and we need to, to, to embrace the, the chance that we, we, we are given that we are young. Because it's an everyday getting older, but yes. you, never, you, you never notice that. So we need to embrace this time, and we need to hit hard and run with, it, with this time. Yeah. And we, we need to be unapologetic about that because they are younger people that are coming and they're going to yes. take over so in whatever that you do you must be mindful of time and you need to be unapologetic and you need to be aware of the generations to come all right awesome and in in, in just two seconds i want you to 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 give best advice that you would give to young people um, that are out there people that say i don't know what to do with my life um, I've got a vision that I would like to be a businessman, but they don't want, they, or they don't necessarily know what exactly are they going to be doing. Um, what is that one thing that we tell to young people um, that will be sort of like a momentum to them to say, this is your push, do it? What would you say? What I can say is to young people is that don't waste time. Um, that little idea that you are having in your heart, in your mind, write it down try to put it into action slowly by slowly it, it, it won't be easy put it down and ask for ideas maybe to your to your parents to people that are uh, to your mentors to people that, that that inspires you that how can i go about with this and then put it into action don't waste time i think that's all that i can say yeah. yeah which is which is which is one of the things that really we should be looking at so thank you so much for coming through to thank the you program for having and me. thank you very much for <laughs> coming intense. into our channel to <laughs> motivate young people it is very important what you've said especially about time especially about knowing or you know having that one thing in your heart um and talking about it because i believe law of attraction says Talk about it and it will be given on to you. Yes. Yeah? All right. Thank you so much. Thank so you. that is another episode of Coffee where we had Uyang Disa who was telling us about his life, his brand and everything else that is involved in within the community. So don't forget to tune in, like, subscribe and share. All right.